Hey, welcome back guys, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new CLC episode, so we are going to be doing something very fun right now inside of this video. We are about to continue our Impossible Single Player Challenge. So for anyone that's new to the channel, the Impossible Single Player Challenge is very, very simple. Basically, if we go into the army camps, you can see we have 120 brand new maxed out level 7 minions. We've got 11 spells, 2 heal spells, 3 rage spells, and an earthquake. And then of course we have the King, the Queen, and the Grand Warden. So the rules, the rules are very, very simple. Basically, we're going to take these 120 minions, the 11 spells, and the 3 heroes, and we want to see how many of these single player maps we can destroy using this one army. Now remember, we're not allowed to use any more minions, we're not allowed any more spells, and we're only allowed to use the heroes once each. So what I want you guys to do, I want every single one of you, every last one of you interact with me in that comment section, guys. Literally take 5 seconds out of your time. Go down below in that comment section and take a guess. How many of these single player maps are we going to be able to destroy? Whoever gets the right answer, you are one of the smartest people I have ever met. So I'm going to take a guess, guys. I reckon we can destroy... I'm going to say 21. I think we can take down 21 of these maps. Are you going to say the same as me or do you have a better answer? So as I said, go down below in that comment section, guys. And of course, take your guess. So we are ready. We've got the minions. We've got the heroes. We've got the spells. Let's get ourselves into map number one. So this is actually the first time I have ever done this challenge using an air troop. And the beautiful thing about the minion is there's so many of them. And you only need one of them to take out the first few maps. So it's going to be very interesting to see how far we can go. Now this is going to be interesting also because the Hog Rider is the current, is the current world record holder for this challenge. And actually, I think the Hog Rider managed to destroy 23 maps. So if we can beat that using the minions, it will be absolutely amazing. So there we go, guys. So for anyone that's new to the channel, my name is General Tony. We do COC and CR videos every single day. Now we have just surpassed 550,000 subscribers, guys. And we are doing a 600,000 sub giveaway. So in about two weeks' time, when we pass 600,000 subscribers, we are going to be giving away $250 worth of gems. Now, if you want the chance to win that, all you need to do is leave a like on this episode right now to enter. I'm going to go for the biggest like goal we've ever done, guys. We're going to go for 11,000 likes. We've never gone for 11,000. So we are going to shoot for 11,000 of you to hit that like button down below. Let's see if we can hit it. So don't forget, leave a like and, of course, subscribe to this channel right now to enter the giveaway. Literally hit that subscribe button, guys. Hit the like button. There is also a link in the description box. Click the link. Hit enter, and it's as simple as that, guys. You are going to be entered into the raffle giveaway. So we're already on map number three, the Goblin Outpost, and the minion is going to be taking that down. So if you haven't already gone down below in that comment section, literally take a few seconds out of your time, guys. Go down there and take a guess. You can also change your mind, but uh, try and stick to one answer. I'm, I'm still going to stick with 21. I reckon we can destroy 21 of these maps using these minions. So the minion's going to take out the cannon. This is already map number three about to go down, guys. There it goes. The cannon's gone. And, of course, that little level seven minion going to move on to the goblin hut, guys. What do you think about the, uh, the look to the level seven minions? Obviously... They look very different to the level 6. The level 6 were very dark. These are kind of a little bit lighter and then they've got like the orange wings. So they look a little bit weird. So let's go into the Rocky Fort, guys. We're going through these maps pretty quickly. And of course, there's no archer towers inside of some of them. So it's a, it's pretty easy to take these maps down. I mean, look, all it is is a couple of cannons, the, uh, the town hall and a couple of barbarian huts. Sorry, a couple of goblin huts. And then the base is taken down the minion. One minion to take down map number four. That's pretty awesome. So as I was saying a few seconds ago, guys, we've done this challenge with a few different troops. Now, we've done the Hog Rider, we've done the Barbarians, we've done the Goblins, but we've never done an air troop. Now, the current record holder for me is the Hog Rider, which done 23 maps, which is quite high. Trust me, guys, it is very, very high. The Barbarians and the Goblins, I think they maybe done about 16 or 17, and then they eventually died. So the minion's about to take out the cannon, guys, and then, of course, it's going to go onto that final goblin hut. So this is pretty damn awesome. These level 7 minions going to absolute work on some of these buildings. There goes that cannon, and, of course, it's going to go onto that final goblin hut, and it's going to take you down in how many shots? One, two, three, four, five shots. Not bad, not bad. So there it goes, guys. Perfect triple star, of course. The rocky fort has been destroyed. Let's see if we can keep using one minion to take down these initial maybe 5 to 10 maps. So we're going to go onto the, uh, the goblin gauntlet. Let's see what's inside of here. Okay, once again, only some cannons inside of here, guys. So it is a very, very easy uh, couple of maps to start with. So they've taken out the first cannon. They're going onto the Goblin Hut, guys. They are going to take out this Goblin Hut. The only thing about these uh, these minions, they take kind of a long time to take out the basin because the cannons don't target them. It can get a little bit boring. So we're going to edit out all the boring stuff, guys. We're only going to keep this exciting. 
They're going to take down that Town Hall. Now, don't forget, stay tuned, watch the entire episode to see if the Minions can actually beat those Hulk Riders because the Hulk Riders, as I said, are the current record holders. You know what? The Minions not too bad, actually. They level 7 Minion pretty quick and does a high amount of damage, especially to those lower level cannons, guys. So there we go. The cannon goes down. The Goblin Hut's about to go down. Once we start to get to about map number 10 is when it's going to become very interesting because there's going to be Wizard Towers. There's going to be Archers. There's going to be so many different air defenses as well that the Minions are really going to start to struggle and it's going to be very interesting to see how far they can really go. So let's go onto the cannonball run. I think there's two cannons inside of here. Nope, there's three cannons. But we're going to use two minions this time, guys, just to quicken it up a little bit. Because we don't want you guys to get bored. So the two minions are going to take out those cannons. Now, we started, obviously, with 120 minions. So far, we are down to 113. But this is going to be map number six. So actually, if we carried on like this, using one minion, of course, we would destroy the 50 maps. And the impossible single player challenge to beat all 50 maps would no longer be impossible. Is there any troop that can destroy 50 maps with one army? I very much doubt it, guys. I mean, it doesn't seem really like it's possible. Of course, you need at least 50 troops, so you can't use anything more than, a, what is it, more than four or five housing spaces. Otherwise, you just won't have enough troops, although you may be able to use the heroes. So there goes the, uh, what is that, map number six, guys. Cannibal Run gets taken out, and of course, it's time to make our way onto map number seven. What is it going to be? Where is map number seven? And it's going to be the, the two smoking barrels. So once again, there are two cannons inside of it, guys, but we're going to go ahead and drop down two minions just to make sure this is nice. Yeah, run, goblins. Run inside the town. Oh, we're going to come for those goblins in a second, guys. Don't worry. Those goblins aren't escaping. I can't tell if my voice is actually going, if it's breaking, because I haven't had much sleep, guys. And I think uh, I think my voice is starting to go a little bit. Damn. Damn. Oh, by the way, guys, I completely forgot to mention I'm actually going to Spain later on today in a couple of hours' time. Now, I have made some videos to uh, to post throughout the week, but there won't be as much videos as usual. So I do apologize for that, guys. We will be back in a week today. So we're going to be on holiday for a week in the sun, the sea, the sun, sea, and A&E, guys. So we're going to be on, the, on holiday for about a week, as I said. We will be back, and of course, we will go back to two to three videos a day. So over the next week, we've made maybe five or six videos for you guys to enjoy. So I hope you do enjoy them, guys. And I obviously cannot reply to you guys as much as I usually do. So still only cannons, guys. So we're going to drop down two minions once again. And they're basically just going to rampage their way onto the other side of the base, taking out these structures very slowly. So are any of you guys going anywhere nice this year for the summer holidays? Anyone going anywhere tropical? Maybe going to, you know, space or, I don't know, maybe the bottom of the ocean? Anyway, anyone going anywhere cool, guys? Let me know in that comment section. And where do you all live as well? Is everyone from around the globe? Everyone's from a different side of the planet. It's pretty damn cool. That is the great thing about the internet. The great thing about YouTube is that... uh. If you actually look and read people's comments, guys, everyone is from every single country on the planet, pretty much. It's absolutely amazing what we can do on the internet. So here we go, guys. The minions are going to take down that town hall. Only one single building left inside of this, guys. It's going to be that final little cannon there. And there it goes, pooping away on it. Bye-bye, cannon. Cannon's going to go down, guys. And the gold rush has gone down. I think that's map number eight. So we've used 11 minions so far. Is that map number eight? Let's see, guys. How many have we done so far? So we just done the gold rush. And then, of course, we're already on to the, uh, the Magnot line. Let's just take this down pretty quickly. There's a mortar there. And, of course, we're going to drop down two minions once again. Now, obviously, I don't really need to drop down two minions. But I'm going to do it anyway because, to be honest with you, there is no way I'm sitting and watching one minion destroy a base because it's going to take way too long. So you do have a chance, guys, to change your answer. Do you think the minions are going to make it further than you first anticipated? I'm going to stick with 21. I reckon 21's a good number. 21 is a good number. You know what? We're on, uh, I think this is map number 9, so we've got another 12 to go after this. I'm guessing that the minions are going to really start to get wrecked once they go into, like, map number 14, map number 15, because there are going to be a lot of air defenses, archer towers, wizard towers, big bombs, little bombs. Everything is just going to go off and literally wipe the minions out, so... Yeah, minions, you keep pooping all over that stuff, and I will see you in the graveyard in a couple of maps' time. So the minions are working together, guys. One's taking out the cannon, one's taking out the goblin hut. The goblin hut's going faster down than the cannon, but they are going to join in the center to take out the final goblin hut. There goes the cannon, guys, and then the two minions join together. Minions are pooping away, and there it is, guys. The perfect triple star in the bag once again. Let's make our way into the next map. What is it going to be? What's it going to be? So we have done. We just done the main line. We're into the rat valley. Shout out to all the rats out there, guys. So here we go. We're going to drop down two of these little pretty minions once again. I think there could actually be some air bombs inside of here, guys. Let's wait and see. I remember doing this map all the time because the first time I ever done the challenge, I dropped a Valkyrie there and she ran up that path there and there was like 10 little bombs that went off. 
and killed my poor little Valkyrie. But of course, with the minions, they don't get affected by big bombs, little bombs, spring traps. So it's pretty awesome. There it is, guys. The one star is in the bag. They're going to take down the town hall and that final elixir collector. Damn, these town halls are getting a lot stronger, though. They are definitely getting a lot stronger. You know what? Let's speed this up, guys. We're going to drop down the queen and pop her ability. She's going to take that out. There it goes, that elixir collector as well. And I have a perfect three star now. We're not going to count that as using the queen. I just wanted to make it a little bit quicker, guys. So we've done the rap valley. And now, of course, it's time to make our way, I think, onto map number 11. We're going to count them after this, guys. So onto the brute force. Still no archer towers. Wow. So this is really pretty damn awesome. It's very different to the other ones, guys, because inside of the other troop challenges, of course, every single one of the troops has been a ground troop, and we have literally lost half the army by now. But for some reason, of course, there are no air defenses, no archer towers, nothing of that sort in these lower level maps. So it's making it very easy for these minions to possibly win the impossible single player challenge. Is it going to be possible? Who knows? You never know. I think we're going to go past 21. That was my original answer, guys. We may be able to get to map 25. Of course, please remember, guys, once we do start to go, you know, into the higher maps, there are going to be wizard towers. And if the wizard tower catches the minion off guard, it is game over. It's just going to completely destroy loads of them in one go, guys. So there we go. We got the one star. Now they're going to go to work on that town hall. Let's drop in the queen once again, guys. Queen, going to pop the queen's ability, you know, just to make it a little bit quicker. Because there's no point waiting for the minions. They're going to be so slow. The queen's going to take out that final goblin hut. And there it goes. Another perfect three star. So let's count the map so far. How many have we done so far, guys? Let's count them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We are on map number 12. So Gobbo Town. Gobbo Town is about to go down. Okay, this is an easy one. A very easy map. But of course, it's going to take a long time. So we'll be back in a few moments' time once these two minions have completely walked all over this base. So for anyone that is new to the channel, guys, by the way, I am not able to make videos over 15 minutes in length. I think for another couple of weeks until maybe Supercell do remove it. I've got a copyright strike on the channel, guys. For anyone that's wondering, the copyright strike was for a video, an advertisement, one of Supercell's advertisements I had on the channel last year. The, uh, the strike has lasted a year for some reason, so it should be removed in October, I believe, or something like that. But hopefully it's going to get removed in the next week. I'm just going to have to wait and see. So we are going to have to win the episode at the 15 minute mark. But there will be a part 2 literally coming out straight after it. So make sure you just stay tuned to the channel. So these minions are going to poop over all over these, uh, these gold storages here. Still got 101 of these minions left. And we are already up to map 12. So it's looking very promising. And it's looking like these minions are actually going to beat the impossible single player challenge. It looks like they're going to get the new world record. They're going to beat the hog rider. And of course, they could even complete the challenge and get to map 50. Although I very much doubt it because once they get to like the high level wizard towers, it is game over. So we've got the two minions working on that town. All guys, the goblins inside of there are about to die. Die, goblins die. Has any of you guys seen that new Warcraft movie inside of the cinema? If you haven't seen Warcraft, you need to go see that, guys. The goblins inside of this game remind me of the Warcraft characters. It is an absolutely awesome movie. So these minions are taking out the gold storages. Only one, two, three, four, five goblin huts left. And of course, those two, what are they? Level four, level five? Those two little baby cannons, guys. I think they're level five cannons. Doing this impossible single player challenge a couple of times has literally made me want new maps inside of the game. So I hope Supercell are going to be bringing some new maps into COC over the next couple of months, guys. Hopefully by August time, we can get some brand new single player maps. So here we go. The minions are going to poop all over those goblin huts. They are about to go down and there they go, guys. The final one's going to go down now. This is map number 13. We're going to go in for one final map because I think that will take up to the, uh, I think that will take us to the 15 minute mark, guys. So here we go. One final map and then we're going to do the second part of the episode in the next video, guys. So we just done Gobo Town. Now it's time to do Emmys for Water. Is there going to be any Archer Towers? Still no Archer Towers inside of this raid, guys. So it's going to be two minions once again. 99 minions remaining. We're going to take 99 minions into map, into, uh, into the episode number two, into part two. So don't forget, guys, we are going to win the episode in a few seconds' time. If you do want to enter the giveaway, leave a like and, of course, subscribe to this channel right now to have a chance to win. Let's shoot for 11,000 likes, as I said. You can still go down below in that comment section and take a guess how many of the maps are the minions going to be able to destroy in part two. So this is map number 13. 
I said I, I, I said I thought they were going to go to map number 21. Are they going to go further? Or are we going to get wrecked by some, uh, maybe some air bombs in like map 18 or 19? You never know. If there's air bombs, the minions could get destroyed. So don't forget, we still also have our spells remaining, guys, and the heroes. So it's looking promising. It is definitely looking promising. And it looks like we can actually get a great victory. So I will see you very shortly in a few hours time for part two, guys. We are going to end this episode here. Do not worry. The minions are going to destroy this map. So this is up to map 13. I will see you shortly. Have a great day, guys. Love you all. Peace out.